Hi, my name is Mark Vitunik, and I'm a designer in the Power Products Group here at Linear Technology. I'm going to talk today about the LTC3300, a new active cell balancer for series-connected battery stacks. All battery stacks require cell balancing to ensure safe operation and long battery life. Passive or dissipative balancing is a simple way to balance the state of charge of all the cells in a given battery stack by reducing the state of charge of those cells with the highest. However, passive balancing cannot recover any lost energy in cells that have aged faster than their neighbors. Active balancing, by recovering this lost energy, not only equalizes each cell's state of charge, but also extends battery runtime by compensating for cell-to-cell -cell capacity mismatch throughout the stack. The LTC3300 is a new IC for high-efficiency, bidirectional active balancing of series-connected lithium-ion or lithium-iron phosphate battery stacks. Each IC interfaces to up to six battery cells. The architecture employed is a synchronous flyback topology employing simple off-the-shelf transformers. When charging, charge is transferred to an individual cell from a group of 12 or more neighboring cells. Similarly, when discharging, charge is transferred from an individual cell to that same group of 12 or more neighboring cells. All balancers may operate simultaneously, minimizing stack balancing time, and all balancing is controlled via a common stackable SPI serial interface. Numerous safety features, both in the communications interface and in the power circuitry, are implemented. The non-isolated synchronous flyback topology employed by the LTC3300 provides for high efficiency charging and discharging. Each of the six balancers requires its own transformer with primary and secondary side FETs. The primary side is connected across the cell to be balanced, and the secondary side is connected across a group of 12 adjacent cells, which includes the individual cell being balanced. The number of cells on the secondary side is limited only by the breakdown voltage of the external components, and the balance current is programmed by external sense resistors. As shown in the graphs to the right, current is ramped up to a peak value in the primary or the secondary, and then subsequently ramped down to zero in either the secondary or primary, depending on whether discharging or charging, respectively. The power stage transfer efficiency is quite high in both the charging and discharging directions, approximately 92% in the example shown here with a 12-cell secondary stack. High transfer efficiency is extremely important in a battery balancing application. Batteries often need to be balanced quickly, but any heat generated near the batteries is highly undesirable. As shown in the graph to the right, a mere 10% improvement in transfer efficiency can result in over 100% improvement in available balance current for a fixed level of balancer power dissipation. To accommodate battery stacks with many cells, multiple LTC 3300s can be connected in series, and each balancer can be controlled individually from a single system microcontroller, which resides at the bottom of the stack. There is no limit to the height of the balancing stack. Communication is accomplished using a stackable, high noise margin SPI serial interface. GPIO pins on the monitor I see, in this case an LTC 6803, also from linear technology, can direct serial communication to either the monitor ICs or the balancer ICs. A single command can be used to pause or resume balancing for the entire string of balancers, simplifying system control. Transferring charge throughout the stack is achieved by interleaving the secondary side connections as shown in the left diagram. Interleaving in this manner allows charge from any group of six cells to be transferred to or from a group of adjacent cells either above or below in the stack. The example shown here in the center illustrates an extreme state of imbalance in which the topmost cell in a very large stack has a state of charge 10% above the stack average and the bottommost cell has a state of charge 10% below. It is neither practical nor necessary to move charge directly from the top of the stack all the way to the bottom. With the LTC 3300 topology, most of the balancing work can be done by redistributing charge locally among the neighbor cells. 
As shown to the right, the entire stack can be brought significantly closer to balance after a single pass addressing just these two cells with the LTC 3300. I'm holding in my hand a 12-cell monitor and balancer demo board capable of up to 4 amps of balancing current. As you can see, the solution includes two LTC 3300 balancer ICs and one LTC 6803 monitor IC. The LTC 3300 is compatible with all LTC monitor chips, including our latest release, the LTC 6804. By using one transformer per cell, all balancers may operate simultaneously to minimize balancing time. Balance currents are easily adjusted by changing current sense resistors on the board, and communication with the board is done through a serial connection on the side. The LTC3300 contains numerous safety features which disable balancing in the event of a fault. Most important among these are the primary and secondary side overvolted shutdown circuits, which protect both the LTC3300 and the external power circuit components in the event of a broken connection to a battery while balancing. Other safety features include programmable volt second clamps to limit current buildup in the event of a shorted current sense resistor, and both CRC packet checking and a watchdog timer to handle communication faults. In conclusion, the LTC3300 is a new and exciting IC which provides robust, high performance, active cell balancing, safe operation, and maximum runtime for large, series-connected battery stacks. For more information, visit us at linear.com. Thank you for watching.